The mission of the Barbara Bush Foundation for Family Literacy is to advocate for and establish literacy as a value in every home. When former First Lady Barbara Bush entered the White House, she was determined to leverage her position to benefit all of America. As the mother of a child with dyslexia, she understood the obstacles that some face when learning to read and also she knew how important literacy skills are for future success. Mrs. Bush had a rather simple revelation. If every man, woman, and child could read, write, and comprehend, so many of our nation's problems would be solved. We want to dramatically increase the availability of family literacy programming by advocating for access in all 50 states by raising a minimum of $50 million to establish and quickly expand availability of Barbara Bush Family Literacy Scholarships, which allow parents and their preschool children an opportunity to learn. We're one of the only organizations in the nation that focuses on educating the entire family. We also stand apart from the education crowd as an advocate for family literacy. We believe basic education is a fundamental right for every American and not a privilege. The American dream is about equal opportunity for everyone who works hard. If we don't give everyone the ability to read and write, then we aren't giving everyone an equal chance. This belief translates into passionate and dedicated staff, volunteers and supporters who see an opportunity to impact generations of lives by teaching moms, dads, and their children. We think like a reform group. We advocate for policy reforms for those in the early childhood and adult education populations. We strategically analyze opportunities and pilot innovative ideas to make an impact. We're pioneers. We're out front advocating for family literacy charter schools that serve parents and early childhood students. We advocate for scholarships that benefit the entire family. We also hold our families and literacy programs to the highest standards. The results are telling. Our adults improve literacy skills by 1.6 grade levels in one school year. The preschoolers who entered the program at the lowest literacy levels end the year on par with their peers and now ready to enter kindergarten. We're results oriented. We're big time data nerds and proud of it. We rank our family literacy programs on an A through F report card system. If they score a B or better, that means our students are improving twice as fast as their peers. For the programs that earn a C or less, we won't fund them. We need to ensure our funds go to support classrooms where families are making meaningful academic progress. 95% of children enrolled in our programs are entering kindergarten on par with their peers because we're diligent about results. Mrs. Bush founded our organization and was kind enough to lend her name, but we are a public charity. We are not endowed. We do not have deep pockets. We're not even political. With our small staff, we're a mouse going after a lion. We believe in expanding the right to read. We're focused on being the thought leaders in literacy because we believe big ideas are what create change. We believe, as does our co-chair Jeb Bush, that education should not be limited to those ages 6 to 18, but should be available to everyone. Our ability to change lives through our programs is a major accomplishment. Take Angelica, who moved from Mexico to Florida as a child. In the seventh grade, she dropped out of school to join her parents as a migrant worker. By age 15, she had left home and become the mother of two. In her 20s, she decided to give education another try. Thanks to caring teachers at a literacy program, she earned her GED and went to college. After graduating, she helped initiate a family literacy program in Plant City, Florida. Within two years, it became the highest performing school we measure. And Helica's family is just one of the thousands who have realized a better life through literacy. The Foundation's results have been incredibly impactful, but our footprint is small. The Foundation initially provided startup funds to schools and community-based centers. 
These one-year grants produced wonderful results, but local communities didn't have the time within that year to adequately prepare to sustain the programs. The years before the 1990s were different. There were no charter schools and very few early childhood centers. Today, these groups represent some of the innovative programs eager to partner with us and think long-term about how integrating family literacy onto their campuses could result in sustaining a new generation of learners. If you're like me, you want to get to the bottom line. Why invest in the Barbara Bush Foundation? America's biggest challenge. It's our awareness campaign that encourages policies and programs to allow children and adults an opportunity to an education. We know our programs work and that we're cost effective, but we need to bring these efforts to scale. With additional resources, we could serve hundreds of thousands of more families. We need donors, sponsors, partners, advocates, and volunteers, and new ideas to tackle America's biggest challenge. Thirty million families need literacy services. To fill this gap, we need more volunteers, donors, and advocates. We have a saying at the Barbara Bush Foundation. If you can read this, you can help. The need exceeds our resources. Literacy is America's biggest challenge, and we need your help. Through our website, you can find out more on how to join our cause.